Hello fellow painters, uh, welcome back to Mikos Minis. Today I, I'm gonna continue playing with uh, oil washes. They are the perfect opportunity for every beginner. Um, they will create for us deep shadows without the need of blending two colors to each other. So if you gonna enjoy this recording, um, uh, please uh, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Uh, but for now, uh, grab your paints, brushes and let's start and I will catch you the next time. Bye bye! My first color that I'm gonna apply is Griffhound Orange from uh, Citadel. Um, I will paint his shirt under the armor uh, and the sleeves uh, on his arms. Nothing fancy, only the basic color. If you're not sure how it's gonna apply, just uh, thin it down to receive a better consistency. My next color is Basilicanum Grey from Citadel to paint his uh, trousers and a little spot um, on his neck. Um, apply evenly the color and uh, let it dry of course. With uh, Gore Grant of Earth straight from the pot uh, I painted all the leather parts like his boots, strap on his knees and of course the belt. Later on you can add some um, yellow color um, to this one for all of the um, edges uh, if you wish to of course uh, to receive a better effect of the leather. With the Blood Angels Red, I will paint all the uh, red parts, like his shield, his, his cape, and uh, some of the feathers that, that he is wearing. This color is uh, great uh, with uh, mixing with black, uh, so it is uh, perfectly uh, for this parts uh, what uh, I'm supposed to do in this recording uh, with the oil colors. Um, the blends will simply disappear and we will receive a nice uh, worn uh, red color. Darko Flesh is my basic color for the, his skin. Um, after the whole painting process, I will highlight off of the uh, face details with uh, flesh and pale flesh uh, from Vallejo. Agaros Dunes uh, I will use for all the skulls on the mini. Uh, it is uh, sometimes even better than the Skeleton Horde because it's not so bright and is perfect for further highlights of all of the skull areas. Iron Hand Steel is perfect for all the metal parts, like his helmet, uh, his armor on his body, uh, but also additionally for all of the details, uh, like on his belt, uh, on uh, the legs, so uh, apply one layer and leave it to dry.
I do not want it to overdue with um, gold on this miniature, that's why I used ochre brown for all of the details uh, on his cape. Additionally, this color is perfect with blending with some um, oil wash burnt amber. Um, that's why uh, I applied uh, one thicker coat on all of these uh, details and afterwards I have highlighted uh, ochre brown uh, with adding some moon yellow to the main color and uh, highlighting all of the details on this uh, little uh, Additions on his cape. Uh, Brass Scorpion is uh, an old looking gold color, uh, that's why it is so perfect for um, burnt amber oil wash. It will blend uh, perfectly together and will look uh, um, nice, old and uh, worn up uh, gold. It will be not so bright and shiny and that was basically my um, goal for this color. With uh, Telesar Blue uh, we will uh, finish uh, applying uh, all of the main colors uh, on the mini. I used it for um, some feathers uh, on the miniature um, to break a little bit the um, color scheme. You don't need to thin it down, just apply it straight from the pot. <coughs> I'm put all the colors on my mini, mm, nothing fancy, uh, only to block them on all the details of the mini and afterwards I have uh, painted all over the mini with some matte varnish to protect uh, the colors that I put in and now we will get dirty with some oil washes and therefore I uh, pre prepared already some black wash and some burnt amber wash uh, now for the gold parts I will take uh, burnt amber I will leave it for about 30 minutes to dry and afterwards I will strap off the um, excess of the oil wash and for the gold parts the, the black wash This will take a little bit longer than usual because we want to do it all over the mini. You can uh, paint with your oil wash uh, straight ahead all of the colors but to be more precise I will take my time and uh, do it on all of the parts separately. In some of the cases like the helm I can do it straight ahead. For this part you don't need to be very precisely because the oil wash will find uh, its way to all of the recesses. <coughs> Just bring it on, on the parts that you wish to and let it do the magic. <coughs> Um, okay, this part that I just painted, I will give uh, around 20-30 uh, minutes to dry and uh, I will show you how I remove the excess of the oil wash. 
uh, oil, uh, my oil wash is dry and with uh, simply cosmetic uh, sticks I will remove the excess if it dries too hard you can activate it with some white spirit <coughs> but remove the most excess of the white spirit <clears throat> For the gold parts, uh, I prepared some burnt amber oil wash. Okay, let this soak and dry <clears throat> and remove the excess. This is the effect of the I cleaned up the excess of the oil wash. Now I will start to add some details and highlights. Uh, with the retribution armor I will add some details on the gold, gold parts. still to highlight the uh, silver areas, the steel areas and to uh, highlight uh, the gold parts. I mix on the skin tone with Citadel uh, Blood Angels Red. Um, don't be afraid to mix uh, contrast paints with uh, regular um, colors. Um, the um, color that you receive um, receive a great consistency, so there is no need for uh, additional uh, thinning. Um, that's why don't be afraid 
and uh, try it for yourself. With the same mix, uh, I applied some worn looking effects uh, on his cape, uh, especially on the edges. Um, this will look uh, very, very cool, very, very worn and will give us an additional uh, depth to all of the miniature. Do not forget the feathers, so with the same mix I applied some details uh, on the feathers uh, to look more natural. I applied orange fire to all of the orange parts uh, that we have uh, painted. Additionally, you can paint some additional um, details to look um, these parts also more worn. Lottern Blue uh, I used to paint um, the blue feathers uh, on the mini, especially on the edges and uh, I painted uh, also some additional details um, to the feathers to look more natural. With some ordinary white colors, uh, I highlighted all the white uh, feathers uh, on his head and on his back and of course uh, I painted some additional details to look uh, more like a feather. Light grey for his uh, trousers to paint some worn uh, details and of course some of the edges but uh, as in all of the cases don't paint all of the edges this is pointless and looks ridiculous stupid. Screaming Skull is of course uh, the best color to highlight um, all the skulls. Um, do not forget this on the head, on his weapon and of course on his knee. As previous mentioned, I added uh, moon yellow to the uh, ochre brown to highlight the details on, uh, on his cape. How much you apply uh, is uh, totally up to you, just observe uh, your miniature and apply as much yellow as, to, uh, as you wish. <laughs> 